Hi there, welcome back to Camera Than Coffee. This is where I talk about cameras that deserve to be in your camera bag. And today I'm doing a quick comparison of the all new Fuji X-T30 Mark II and the beginner's love X-T200. If you're new to the channel, I've already compared X-T30 Mark II with its other Fuji competitors. And it will be very kind if you support me by subscribing. Cool. Without any further ado, let's start the video. It was the morning of 2nd September when Fuji X-T30 Mark II came into this world with the black and silver option and a pocket friendly price tag which is slightly expensive than X-T200. Though X-T200 might be one step behind the X-T30 Mark II due to its regular CMOS sensor versus the 4th generation 26.1 megapixel sensor on the new X-T30 Mark II. But still, the X-T30 Mark II gives excellent JPEG straight out of the camera. So it's not really a disadvantage. But I really miss the popular Eterna and classic negative film simulations on X-T200, which are present in X-T30 Mark II. And finally, both the cameras can deliver the images in JPEG as well as 14-bit RAW format. But Fuji hasn't specified if RAW plus JPEG mode is available on X-T30 Mark II or not. Talking about the autofocus, the new X-T30 Mark II has a better high-speed autofocus inherited from the flagship X-T4. Both the cameras can shoot continuously at 8 frames per second and have an improved hybrid autofocus system covering the whole frame together with updated face and eye detection. Talking about low light performance, even though both have good ISO range up to 12800, but the Mark II has an ability to use face detection autofocus in low light levels of minus 7 EV, way better than X-T200. And surprisingly, the X-T200 has a digital image stabilization, also known as digital gimbal, but the new X-T30 Mark II has to rely on the OIS offered by the attached lenses. Now let's see what waits for us outside the camera. Though X-T200 is well made and well designed, but the finish and feel is not up to the same standard as the X-T30 Mark II. Starting with the dimensions and weight, Mark II and X-T200 seems to be twins, with same EVF with 2.36 million dots. Both the cameras are hiding an inbuilt flash under their cap, but the one thing you will definitely love about X-T200 is its 3.5 inch varying touch screen with 2.76 million dots that takes up nearly the entire rear of the body. But sadly, both the cameras are not weather sealed. Next up is the battery capacity. And we can see that X-T30 Mark II can give more shots as compared to X-T200. But putting X-T200 into economy mode boosts the number of shots to 450. And X-T200 also has a better battery life in case of video. And yes, both the cameras allow in-camera charging via USB. Now comes one of the deciding video specs. Both the cameras can shoot UHD 4K up to 30fps, but X-T30 Mark II also allows a wider version of 4K up to 30fps. And the new X-T30 Mark II also leads in case of full HD recording. It can record up to 240 frames per second. Plus, it can also record in F-Log, but X-T200 can't. And yes, both the cameras can be used as webcam or for live streaming. Last but not the least, ports. Some are same, some are different. One thing I would like to highlight here that X-T200 has a headphone adapter included in the box but Fuji hasn't specified if the adapter will be included in the box of X-T30 Mark II or not. That's it. Thank you so much for stopping by and if the video was helpful, do support me by subscribing. 